What's going on everyone, Manish here and in this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to provide authentication to Ubuntu through an USB flash drive rather than entering your password at the login screen. So let's get started right away with the video. So the first thing which you want to do over here in order to provide the authentication through an USB flash drive is that you'll have to install an application called as PAM USB. So copy this particular command over here and pull up a terminal and paste the command over here. So that should basically install the software or the module called as PAM USB, right? So once you've got the command pasted, hit on enter and then throw in your password, hit on Y. And that should basically, you know, install the PAM USB uh, software onto your computer. So once you've got this particular application installed, the second step which you've got to do over here is that you'll have to connect your USB flash drive onto your computer. So now let me just go ahead and plug in my USB flash drive. So once you have plugged in the USB flash drive, the, this particular flash drive will be automatically be detected by the PAM USB software. So the next thing which you want to do over here is that uh, you'll have to add this particular device to the PAM USB configuration file over here. So that is done with the help of this particular command over here. So copy this particular command and go to your terminal and paste it over here. So basically what I'm trying to do over here is that I'm assigning a name that is my USB to the currently plugged in USB flash drive. And then I'm adding this particular device to the PAM USB configuration file over here. So once you have you know, pasted this particular command, hit on enter and then hit on Y. The next thing which you wanna tell the PAM USB software to do is that you'll have to specify the username for which the USB authentication has to be done. So copy this particular command over here and paste it onto the terminal. And over here, instead of the username, you have to specify the username that you are currently logged into. So my username over here is coolanish5. So I'll specify coolanish5 over here. And then once you have specified the username, hit on enter and then hit on Y. And if in case you don't know the username that you're currently logged into, type in echo uh, dollar and type in user all in caps and then hit on enter. So that will basically tell you the currently logged in username. So in my case, it's coolanish5 and then just place this particular username over here in this particular command over here. So once you're done with that, the next thing which you want to do over here is that you'll have to edit a file known as common authorization file. So if you're on Ubuntu, you'll have to copy paste this particular command onto the terminal. And if you're on Linux Mint, copy paste this particular command onto the terminal. Since I'm already on Ubuntu operating system, I'll pay, copy paste this particular command over here and hit on enter. So that should basically uh, open up the, uh, you know, uh, the gedit editor. Then you'll have to scroll down to the uh, section where it says here are the per packages modules and the next two lines which you can see over there has to be removed and be replaced with these two uh, lines over here. So copy this particular line and paste it over here and do the same for the next line over here. So once you have copy pasted these two lines, uh, save this particular file and if everything has gone well, you should see this particular output. So type in su, your username, in my case it's coolanish5. So now if everything has gone well, you should be able to see this particular output. So now let me just go ahead and log out and show you guys if it actually works. Alright guys, so I'm in the login screen right now and as you can see over here, since I've got my USB flash drive connected to my computer, it does not ask me for the password. And once I remove the USB flash drive from the computer, as you can see over here, it tells me to enter in my password. 
So that's it guys, hope you guys have really liked this video and please make sure you hit the subscribe button that's on top of this video and like a FB fan page for regular updates. See you guys in the next video and have a nice day.